This is the vintage Hearst shifter that we found in a Volkswagen in the uh, local pull and save junkyard. It's got the Hearst on it here and we've worked through it and got the uh, lockout mechanism working for reverse. In a normal uh, shifting pattern, you'd be in first, second, and then come over to third and fourth. And then the, when you're in the third, fourth, that uh, crescent shaped piece there keeps the shift washer from coming up. So even though I'm pulling on the lockout, you can't lock out. Or you can't get into the reverse gate. You can't pull up the reverse gate thing. All right, we're looking at the other side of it. And um, to get over to reverse, you'd be over here on the first second. And then you pull this uh, the lever on the handle. And the washer comes up. And now you can go a little farther into the... Uh, reverse area. And then as soon as you pop out of reverse, that washer will spring down and keep you out of reverse again. Okay, here's a little bit of view on how the uh, lockout works. If you're in uh, first and second, that's in this area. And then when you pull the, uh, the release, that washer comes up. That allows you to move over to the reverse gate there. And as soon as you come out of the reverse gate, washer will lock you back out of reverse and then if you're over in the third fourth if you're over in the third fourth let me see if, if you're over in the first second here you can actuate the reverse lockout washer if you come over to the third fourth it gets caught by that crescent there and you cannot actuate the third fourth washer and uh, after lubing things up and messing with the sanding and smoothing and everything actually works pretty nice and smooth because it doesn't seem super nice, but to feel it, it feels good. Um, we ended up putting a little bit of actual fabric around the ball to tighten that up. It's got pretty much no slop. I think it's going to be a great little shifter.